Hey everybody, it's your pal Sal from Sal Dougie's House of Cards, and today I'm making a video response for Scott at Reindeer Studios. Scott is celebrating 1,500 subscribers, so that's a super awesome accomplishment, and uh, always makes really great art. I really like uh, the the art from uh, Reindeer Studios, so I was really excited to see they put out a request for a VR, and uh, excited to participate in this one for sure. The request was to show some of our favorite uniforms. Uh, so in the spirit of my channel, we're, we're going to meander through uh, the history of uniforms of the Milwaukee Brewers using cards as our visual reference. So we're going to start out actually with a Seattle Pilots card, uh, ironically. So uh, we can see on the Pilots card um, pretty plain uniforms. Brewers definitely kept the colors. I'll move it up a little bit. Maybe you can see a little bit better on this Buzz Steven, one of just a few Pilot cards that I have. Uh, but we've got the blue and yellow color scheme, Pilots across the chest there, but pretty basic uniforms for the Pilots. They stayed relatively similar um, upon moving to Milwaukee here. We'll show this uh, Gorman Thomas here, the 76 tops. Gorman Thomas, um, you can kind of see, got the blue M on the hat, or sorry, yellow M on the blue hat, similar to the pilot hats. And then it's hard to tell on this card, but it does say Brewers across the chest there. Uh, so that's a cool look at some early Brewers uniforms. And another one here, this George Scott from 77 Tops. Uh, I like this one a lot. Got the yellow uh, batting helmet, something the Brewers have gone back to recently as they have embraced kind of the retro traditions. From there, the Brewers kind of uh, moved on. I guess this first card here, this is an 82 Yount Fleer, um, very similar to that uh, 77 George Scott. The main difference is we've moved on to the ball and glove logo. So you can see right there on Robin's hat, but we still got the yellow back on the road hats. Brewers had certain hats just for road uniforms, which I always thought was super cool. I love the yellow back on the road hat still got the powder blue road unis another yount card here as we move along this is 88 score and this is uh look our first look at the brewers pinstripe uniform so we can see here again this one a little hard to tell on the card but ball and glove logo on the batting helmet and then blue pinstripes on the white uniforms those were popular for a while in the late 80s early 90s uh, and then we see here still a similar style, but our road uniforms are changing. This is a 92 tops, Greg Vaughn gold. Uh, and now instead of part of powder blue road unis, we got gray road unis. Still got the ball and glove logo there on the 92 Greg Vaughn. And then came a big change in Brewers uniforms. I believe this was, I want to say 94 was the first year for these i think this is a 95 upper deck sp champions another greg vaughn card great looking uniform card there got the 25 years of uh brewers baseball on the uh special patch there i did look into some of the like recorded history of brewers uniforms and you know kind of all the information that is available um you can really go down some rabbit holes through like jersey variations patches all kinds of stuff as as uniforms got more modern but here we see that uh kind of strange mid-90s brewers look kind of almost looks like notre dame uh on the team logo on the cap um you can't really see it in this card but in the early uh versions green was a, another car, uh, color they would tie in with this but those were those new uh strange and unpopular brewers uniforms of the mid-90s um i do have a f this is the first um kind of card I can find that uh, earliest that referenced like an alternate uniform. So there's a few of these from, uh, this one is a 94 pinnacle Cal Eldred. And there's a few, I think the 94 Greg Vaughn, um, scorecard has, uh, this uniform, but these are a throwback to, uh, before even the Braves were in Milwaukee, they had a, an American association team called the Milwaukee Brewers that were an affiliate of, uh, the St. Louis Browns and also, uh, for a while, the Boston Braves and, uh, independent team as well at points in their history. Uh, so they did a throwback and these are the, uh, American association, Milwaukee Brewers, uh, 
uniforms there. So uh, pretty cool and kind of an early dabble into alternate uniforms, which we'll see uh, as we get more modern is a very popular trend. Another big uniform change came when the Brewers moved to um, Miller Park in the early 2000s. So I got a couple here to look at. First one we're going to look at is this Richie Sexton. Uh, this, I believe, is a 2001 uh, Fleer Platinum. Uh, and the main reason, I, I kind of wanted to show a Sexton card for this exercise, but uh, I, I went ahead and uh, picked this particular one along with another player to show these uniforms because this one, uh, this is kind of a, you know, kind of an aspect of card collecting. Uh, you can tell by the hat logo, these are spring training pictures. So this Brewer's hat with the, uh, I guess the big change from the previous uniforms was, uh, you know, we're not doing the ball, or uh, sorry, the, the kind of M and B clash together. We have just the M, uh, which is uh, very similar to the M for Miller Brewing, who was the stadium naming rights sponsor when they opened up Miller Park. Uh, so not real subtle there. But uh, the spring training caps also have a uh, state of Wisconsin behind on the cap and then we can see the new brewer's script on richie's chest there another one this one uh shows that regular season logo here we got this beautiful 2011 prince fielder uh diamond collection uh prince great shot of the uniform top there and the hat you can see on this one uh what that m looks like without the Ball and Glove also has the barley grain or whatever that is underneath the M, a tip to the culture of beer making. This one here next is from 2014 Tops. This is another alternate. I really like these a lot. These are, this one truly is one of my favorite uniforms of all time. And that's these gold tops. I really liked when the Brewers did that. Uh, this is Scooter Jeanette here. Uh, they just did it for maybe one or two seasons. Uh, I guess it wasn't real popular with the fans, but I absolutely love these. So I want to make sure I got one of these, um, you know, turn of the century gold uniforms in there. Another alternate uniform we've got here. This is from 2013 Bowman. This is a Ricky Weeks card. And this is uh, the Milwaukee Bears Negro League uniform. So Milwaukee had a Negro League for one se uh, team for one season, 1923. And uh, it's not a great photo of uh, definitely the front of the uniform, but you can kind of get the gist of it. Uh, blue and white, again, very similar to the American Association Brewers, similar M, uh, and then get kind of a blue and white or blue and gray uh, uniform color on, on Ricky here. And then on the chest, it does say bears across there, but this is the only card I had in my collection that actually had one of those uniforms. So that's the one we have to look there. Uh, I forget what year, but uh, one of the big jumps back into the retro style came when the Brewers brought back, uh, they did like pinstripe Friday. So they would bring back, here we got Freddie Peralta, uh, 2019 tops in his Brewers pinstripes. They brought it back well before 2019. I want to say closer to like 2010 or something like that. But uh, they would do Friday night home games. They would wear the, the retro unis with the pinstripes and the old ball and glove logo. And now uh, that naming rights for the stadium have moved from Miller Brewing to American Family Insurance. The uniform style changed again. They definitely went away from that um, Miller M that we saw. Here we got a 2023 Topps Big League Brandon Woodruff. Um, kind of a mashup of those first uh, editions, kind of um, on the uniform, especially you got Brewers and kind of the block lettering across that and the almost like cream colored jerseys. Uh, but then the more of the like uh, early 80s hat with the ball and glove logo. Uh, so that's pretty close to the current state. They also have a, uh, a blue version and a gray version that they wear. Uh, and then also very popular in Major League Baseball right now is the City Connect jerseys. And so here is Christian Yelich wearing the Brewer City Connect, says Brew Crew on the chest there i don't love the batting helmets on these i think they look like chicago riot police uh caps but uh pretty cool i think that my favorite thing about the city connects is the the piping on the sleeves is beer and foam so that's a little tip there and then there's also a grilling patch you can't really see it on this card too well but another cool thing is there's a little grill patch on there for those brewers city connect Jersey. So congratulations, Scott, again on 1,500 subscribers. I hope anybody who watched this liked the walk through Brewers uniform history. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will talk to you in the future.